hello my beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing um a get ready with me as we always do y'all know the drill so go ahead and get in here and let's get started so i'm gonna start out with putting some um powder on my brows you know just to kind of set those in place i like to set my brows before i go in and do anything else hopefully you guys can tell the camera is different I went out and got the Sony A7C um, and I actually love this camera. I don't know why I didn't get this camera to begin with. Um, Y'all know I'm always late to every single trend, but I actually really like this camera. My ex was definitely not excited about me buying this camera because all of my previous cameras he has purchased for me. Um, this is just like a little bit of brown. I'm just adding to my brows. That's it. But each and every one he has purchased most recently i want to say within the past year i have this will be my third camera okay so i got the canon 80d no 90 90d canon 90d and then i got um the sony zve 10 and i know what you're probably thinking like girl do you have the money to continue to purchase these cameras no <laughs> no i'm being super irresponsible right now he wasn't trying to like be mean about it, um, but you know, my motto is, you know, where there's a will, there is a way, okay? And baby, I got the will to have a new camera because there's just like a certain type of quality that I wanted. And I'm not gonna say the Canon 80D, 90D. I don't know why I keep saying 80. I think I had the 80D before. But the uh, Canon 90D, as well as the Sony, um, they are actually really good cameras, but I'm learning the difference between cameras. Like if you're going to be a photographer, definitely would recommend the 90D, you know what I'm saying? Like for sure, for sure. But if you're going to be a vlogger, then I would definitely recommend the Sony ZV-E10. Jesus, that's a mouthful. Um, yeah, so those would definitely work if that is going to be your option. But y'all know I'm somewhere in the middle of wanting to to vlog and do videography so what i found that my research is the sony a7c was probably going to be the best option now they do have higher quality but this one i'm digging this one a lot okay so i found that for my specific need um the canon was really good however a lot of times with the me when i was working with the canon the shit that I saw on the screen on my iPad is not what was coming up in post-production, right? And so for me, I just wanted a camera where whatever I see here is what I'm going to see in post-production. Um, and the Sony ZV-E10, um, although it gives great quality, again, it is just for vlogging, right? Again, Canon, if you got a lot of time on your hands and you like to color grade and do all that extra stuff, then that would be the camera for you but for me whatever it is i see here that's what i want to see when i i go to export it and baby i'm good to go okay i don't want to have to do all the extras i may add like a, a little bit of saturation here and there but i don't want to have to do too much i'm gonna use my one size i'm gonna start out with this shade up here and then i'm gonna move down to this one um but yeah y'all got me a new camera my ex is like what are you gonna do with the other cameras because y'all know like i am one of those people that i hate this about myself like if i get something and i don't like it i never return it i'll just keep it i hate that about myself because it's like i'll be feeling embarrassed to go into the store i know i shouldn't but i do i'll be feeling embarrassed to go in and return anything i had to return um uh, my ex's he wanted two of these uh laptop screens off of amazon for his birthday and I got those and girl they wasn't the right ones when I told you I felt so like embarrassed to go and then return those he's like return them and get me the ones that I need and I was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know why I'll just keep it and just buy new ones but um yeah so now I have the Canon which I don't mind letting go of the Canon if you guys are interested in the Canon I got the lenses and everything for it I probably will sell it for a, a very cheaper price than what they retail it um, simply because I just I didn't use it uh, but my Sony ZV-E10 I'm thinking about keeping it because in my mind it, it probably will never ever happen but in my mind I plan on doing vlogging it probably won't happen that's, that's neither here nor there but it's a plan that I have if you guys are thinking about getting a camera make sure that you guys you know 
really think on it because this shit is not <laughs> it's not cheap and then the lenses oh my gosh so you can have like the worst camera in history but the lens will make or break it so i've spent money on lenses i've spent money on cameras at this point i need to open up my own damn camera shop it's it's very chaotic over here um but i wanted to make sure that the type of quality i wanted like listen all right because i also feel like that too like the quality of the lens like will make or break your makeup like you may be looking bomb as hell like oh my goodness everything is chef kiss but then when you go to play it back if you don't have the right lens girl your makeup is not going to look right now i do know that people are using their iphones i commend you because baby i don't know how to do that at all i think on like all of my equipment like trial era goods bads including lighting um lenses cameras and stuff like that i probably spent ten thousand dollars not all at once not all at once but definitely you know here and there i have definitely spent about 10k am i proud of it no well sort of <laughs> sort of because baby listen we're here now okay we're here now, did it take us 15 tries? Yes, but that's the type of person I am. It's gonna take me 15, 11 tries to get it right, but then I'm gonna get it right, and then everything's gonna be all good in the world, okay? So yes, it did take us a little bit longer than it should have. Now, it, what's so crazy is before I bought the Sony ZV-E10, I actually looked at purchasing the A7C, and then I was like, no, cause I'm gonna be logging, and it's just gonna be so heavy, and I can't carry it around, so I don't wanna do that one. So I wound up purchasing the ZV-E10 because it was a lot cheaper than this camera, right? And I tried to purchase a higher quality lens for that, um, that camera, baby, that camera is good for vlogging and vlogging only, honey, honey. I need y'all boo boo girl. I don't care what type of lens you put on that damn camera. It just, it, it was not giving me what I needed, okay? I told my girl from Mamsy Beauty I was going to use her product in today's video because I absolutely love it and it's super simple to do. Um, and she said she was going to bring them back. She was like, girl, I wasn't even bringing them back. She sent me this like years ago, maybe like two, three years ago. This when I was still staying in my apartment. So she sent me this and I was like, um, I didn't really get to use it until like I was rushing one day and I just, oh my goodness, I wanted to Q shadow and this just worked. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a brush, you're going to spray it just lightly, you know, lightly like that. And then you're going to dip it into like the cap. Right. And so now you have this little glitter. Can y'all see? <laughs> look at me in my youtube bag y'all got this little glitter thing on there and you just gonna tap that right on your eye look you don't need a lot baby like seriously I'm, I'm being so serious right now you do not need a lot you just need just a little bit you know what i'm saying and i really love this because it gives the effect of a cut crease without me having to do all the extra work you know what i'm saying you just gonna bah, pop that on there um anyway back to my other little things that i have been getting into if you guys i have not been posting on my um my story neither i'm working on it i'm working on it but um baby i didn't start crocheting not only have i started crocheting but your girl done went and got a damn cricket machine i absolutely love that cricket machine i actually got that for um some work stuff i needed to do we had to make personalized well i decided to make personalized um gift bags for the event that we're going to be having and when i tell y'all i absolutely love that cricket machine my um ex is like we about to open up some type of shop, uh, shopify store and we're gonna start selling stuff and he really wants me to get off into like selling makeup products and stuff like that but the only thing is and that's what i've been telling him when it comes to drop shipping i don't do that i don't do that because i feel like i'll be held liable if something was to go wrong so definitely not interested in that just like that baby the eyeshadow is done literally two seconds you in and you out girl get y'all some of that powder i don't know if she gave me different colors i have to check y'all know i pretty much still have not unpacked all of my makeup from when i moved in and that was a year and a half ago uh, I don't know, I just kind of fell out of it. And I think it has everything to do also with just the camera. Like I said, I be getting frustrated because I'm sitting here looking in the mirror like, I know my shit is fire. And then when I play it back, I'll be like, what the fuck? So yeah, um, there's that. But yeah, so he's talking about he want to start a website doing some shit. And I'm like, listen, baby, I don't rush into business ventures. Not no more. Back in the day when I was selling lashes, absolutely. It's because I was just trying to make some money, okay? And they made it seem like it was going to be super easy for you to make some money. So, absolutely. I did rush into it back in the day. However, comma, today, 
No, I'm not rushing into no business ventures. I want to make sure everything is 100% where I need it to be. There is a particular industry that I would like to go into. I can't tell y'all because y'all know I might try to steal my idea. No, I'm just playing. It's definitely a heavy pop heavily populated and i would love to get into it but the only thing is trying to find a vendor i know that it would be so pricey i know y'all probably thinking like girl if you could sit here and invest in your damn camera settings baby you could go ahead and invest in whatever you're trying to invest in you're absolutely correct however just my priorities be really fucked up because um i feel like listen i already have a platform to where i can bring in revenue with the camera so that's why i purchased the camera because i'm able to bring in revenue with it right where i'm trying to go it's like an investment that i don't even know if i could bring in revenue with that just yet so you know i'm just we're just trying to think it out he's like i'm, I'm down to do whatever you want to do uh because we both at the point like where we just kind of tired of our current jobs and we ready to to move on and do other shit. um so yeah we'll we'll see how that goes and where we land but y'all know me i get excited about shit and 10 10 minutes later the idea be gone okay i'm impulsive i'm gonna go ahead and admit it i'm impulsive all right i'm gonna go in with some of my what is this nambia from nars i'm gonna go in with some of that i'm running out i actually listen i thought this was my winter shade let me tell y'all more about why y'all should probably invest in a high quality camera or some high quality lighting i'm gonna say lighting for sure because um baby i was using the wrong color this whole entire time look at that that's the right color baby because my damn lights were off you know i be i be trying to figure shit out anyway um I just want to say RIP to my baby, uh, Eric Mays. Like, that really did hurt my heart that Eric Mays passed away. I feel like I really knew him. I didn't know him, but I feel like I knew him. Um, what do you say? When they go low, we go lower, okay? That is my baby. I felt like, oh, man, that hurt my heart. You know, condolences to his family because Eric Mays just be out here putting them folks in a place. Especially, what was her name? Miss Herkin Roder. Yes, I used to watch them just for him, baby, because he was not playing with them folks. And they knew not to try him. I ain't got no tail, girl. That was my dude. My goodness, so many iconic lines. Lord. Y'all know I had to bring back my cafe concealer. Um, and this is from NARS. This is like one of my favorites, y'all. Like, I absolutely love this concealer. It's so good. Oh. And this shade is so good, baby, but I have to use this sparingly. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, we got to use that sparingly. Um, I got to run up here to Costco today. Child, I probably should have went yesterday, but yeah, I didn't. I was out here in them streets yesterday. Well, no, I really wasn't. You know what? I have really been so chill lately. It's crazy. I don't even be out here in them streets like that. That's why I ain't really had no story times for y'all because I don't be going nowhere. Like literally the highlight of my weekend was crocheting, doing some cricket stuff, and then um, going to Shell Shack. Baby, I went to Shell Shack. It's been so long since I had Shell Shack because you know that's in Arlington. It's 30 minutes away. I've been feeling like, why am I driving 30 minutes there just to drive 30 minutes back? Like it's just, it's too much. It's too much. My food going to be cold. It was a lot. But my ex took me up there. You know, whenever he decides to drive, I be passenger princess i am i am here for it so i let him drive up there um he got me my shell shack baby when i told you that that shell shack was hitting oh my gosh and then i did the crab stuff tater tots <sighs> Woo! goodness i had um i had a pound of snow crab and i had a pound of shrimp baby <sighs> When I tell you I devoured that bed, because y'all know I've been trying to do really good on my diet. So I haven't been able to like really eat the way I want to. But baby girl, when I tell you that that was hitting on a different level, honey, girl, it was so good. It was so good. Like my goodness, it was so good. It was delicious. I'm going to go in and just highlight like a little bit more with the shade chocolate. Um, I've been trying to tone down my... Um, my highlighting because it makes me look orange like when i go out in public i was like damn my face look orange as hell um but you know what i seen like i was talking to my friend and she was saying like she just ended things with like her baby dad and she was like you know i'm thinking about getting back out here to the field like i want to wild out and do everything let me tell y'all something if you didn't wild out in your younger days like maybe 10 years ago baby don't wild out now 
I just feel like having an STD is so cool now. Like they make it so they make it so cool to have an STD. Like baby, I'm not trying to catch shit. That's why I keep messing around with my ex. If we want to be honest, that's why I keep. I just like you know what? You're my person. At the end of the day, you're my person because baby, I'm I'm too scared to be catching anything. You know, and I told her I'm like, don't go out here and wild out, honey. You're gonna come back with something. Like I know that people had things like back in the day. But it was kind of like when you got the clap or stuff like that, like it was kind of embarrassing. You ain't really talk about it, right? I've never had it, but I'm just saying. Like you don't really talk about it. Um, but I just seen a dude on TikTok talking about like it's not that bad. Like they give you an antibiotic and you're okay. See, that's, that's the type of mindset that I can't deal with. And the fact that it was so many likes and comments like, yeah, I had it and everything was cool. That's a problem for me. I would, I would rather just stick with whoever I'm with. Call me Krishan Rock Jr. I mean, it's not as toxic as them. Definitely not. You know, we've never put our hands on each other. But um, yeah, call me Krishan Rock Jr. because I'm going back every single time. Because baby, I'm not, I'm not getting ready to do that. You're insane. Normally, I would go in with my Laura, but now I'm going to go in with um, my milk. I haven't used milk in a while, but I'm going to use that setting powder, the loose setting powder. Um, but yeah, I was telling her, I'm like, girl, uh, uh you would be better off just being by yourself. I don't understand why women are so afraid to be by themselves. Do y'all see the material that we're working with in today's society? Like the men who all of them got damn podcasts and shit. Now, baby, let me be by myself. Let me be alone because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I just seen a video of a girl. I don't know because I didn't see like get the full context, but it was posted. Um, but she was somehow or another she ended up around all of these men and i guess she was confronting one of the men again i don't know the full story so if y'all know put it down in the comments but she was confronting them about i guess dating them or whatever something like that something to that effect like i was dating you or whatever and it was probably like two or three maybe four somebody was recording and all this other stuff but anyway the guy gets mad like i never dated you and then he smacks the hell out of her and then like mushes her head on the damn truck it's like uh-uh all all for saying that we dated that is crazy and the fact that the other men just sat around and watched it so when i say that i would prefer to be by myself baby i'm not playing like you may think like oh it's a miserable life she's miserable i'm happy as hell not getting my head knocked in between the washer and dryer i'm okay okay like i prefer my peace i prefer all of like my functions you know what i'm saying i don't know no glass i don't my jaw broke i'm i'm good being by myself okay and listen baby i get it you know we're human we want companionship i'm not judging you for wanting a companion everybody needs somebody right who wants to to die old and alone nobody right but what i am saying is that you shouldn't have to deal with abuse or you know what i'm saying just just heartache in general in order to to get that right so you dealing with a man as a and it seemed like all of them. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's still some some cool dudes out there. But Lord have mercy. It just seems like that is the culture that we are living in where the men are super aggressive and super just angry and mean all the time. Baby, ain't nobody got time for that. So what I say, it's easier for you to be by yourself. It's easier for, I know it's lonely. I get it. Oh, girl, I get it. Um... But I know it's lonely, but it's it's so much easier and it's so much safer for you to, to be by yourself at this time. Nobody is rooting for black love more than me, baby. I think every woman, every man deserves some type of love, especially in this lifetime. You deserve to experience that. So I'm not telling you never to experience it. What I am saying is just wait until the right person comes along. Don't feel like you have to settle um in order to just find something quickly because there's nobody else you know what i'm saying like that's the type of situation that i do not ever want to see any of my folks in like ever you know just wait it out i know it's hard you know get you a little girl group going shit talk to me in the comments if you need to i'll be here you know i probably don't see all of them but i respond to the ones that i do especially when a video like first goes up then that's like when you definitely have my attention um so if you just need to talk baby we be talking over here but don't feel like you gotta settle for somebody going upside your head or being emotionally unavailable just to feel love it's not a good place to to be in a part of me feels like that's what happened with wendy 
um, Williams, and that's probably like half of the reason why she's in a situation, like just loving somebody more than they loved you or just giving yourself more than you gave to yourself. Um, and it sucks to see them like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think that man drove her crazy. Like, I, I know that we say that, but I do think that it's a real thing for people to die of a broken heart. And I also think it's a real thing to be driven crazy by somebody. You know what I'm saying? Especially after you love them. And that's why I be like, Lord, whatever you do, please don't allow me to love nobody more than I love myself outside of my children. Um, but like a man, please, 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 please. If that means you don't never send one my way, then let that be what it's going to be. But Jesus, like, allow me to love them the way that I need to, but not more than myself or that I lose myself in loving them so much. So, all right, now it's time for us to go in and blend out our under eye. Um, I'm just gonna blend this out. Child, I gotta go cause I need to go to Costco. That's another thing about me. I always say yes to people. I really need to stop fucking doing that shit. Even if I don't want to, to do it, the first thing out my mouth, if you ask me to do something, be like, yes, even though in the back of my mind, I'm like, bitch, you know you did not want to fucking do this. I don't know why I do that. I need to get myself together. Um, yeah, we're going to blend this out. We're going to do our lips. And then, girl, we're going to be up out of here. Um, I cannot wait to take off this wig. I will get dressed. But, baby, I'm not going nowhere. Like I said, I got a Costco run. And I'm about to take off this wig. I've had this wig on for the last four days. And if y'all know anything about me, um, me and wigs don't stay on that long. 24 hours is the longest that I've had a wig on. So the fact that this has been on for so long, it's got, it got to come off. It got to come off. Okay, I'm going to spray some of my Morphe spray. Boom. Um, I'm not going nowhere, so I'm not going to use my Fix It Plus. Normally, I would. Um, but again, on the days that I don't go nowhere, it's no point in using it because, baby, I'm not hooking nobody, so... All right, I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline little stuff in the shade Protector. I'm going to outline my lips with this. I like this one because it's matte and it kind of dries, so that's why I use it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Butterscotch. Um, did y'all watch my live on Instagram? Or y'all went there? Cause I feel like y'all only be over here. Y'all don't be coming over there to support me. Y'all don't like me like that. It's okay, it's all right. And then I think with this look, I think I am gonna take Fortune Cookie on the center. I'm trying to think, but that's what I wanna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the finished look. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So overall, the things that I learned is definitely if you're going to purchase a high-quality camera, uh, make sure that you get a lens. Now, I can't 100% recommend this camera. I know that I love it, but I've only had it for maybe about two days now. It has not been long, so I can't just be like, go out here and get it. Let me work with it a little bit more, but I absolutely love it. Like I said, I'm able to just kind of record and then put it right into um video and it does have the capability of recording in 4k as well um, one of the big contributing factors that i would say um definitely make sure that you guys get you a light any type of light that you have please make sure that you're able to use um a 5000 kelvin or it comes preset with the 5000 kelvin because 5000 actually mimics natural daylight so what I found, because y'all know I'm always finding things. So what I found is because I was using like a temperature of maybe like 42 or 4600 Kelvin, when I would, it would look good on camera, but when I would go out into natural daylight, it would look completely different. Like I would look too orange or I would look too washed out. So using it set at 5000 will mimic actual natural daylight, especially if you don't have a window, which I do, but they don't really work that well. <laughs> I don't know if it, 
not works that well, whatever. I don't like to use the window as it, because the light change, you know what I'm saying? Like the sun go up, sun go down, whatever. So I don't like to use it. I like to use a continuous light. And by using my little overhead soft box at F5000, it just, it just works so much better. And my makeup looks so much better. I don't look orange. All of the colors are here. Anyway, get you that, okay? If you don't do anything else, definitely get you a light that you can set to 5000. And yeah, that is it. Oh, the Mamsie Beauty, the eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna link it down below in the comments because baby, she is absolutely stunning. I love a look where I can just kinda get up and go. And this is one of those. I put down like my browns and stuff to kinda give me, it looks like a soft cut crease, but it's actually not. It's literally just me spraying that little brush and put it on. I'm gonna see if she has more colors because that is gonna be my go-to, especially when I'm in a rush. It gives like such an elegant, you know, date night feel and you didn't have to put in a lot of effort to it at all. So definitely I will put that down in the comments. I think she said that she is coming back out. She's not sponsoring me. I absolutely just love it. I started using it again maybe a week ago. I think I even tried, no, I didn't use it on live. I was like, did I use it on my live? No, I didn't. I used a different one on my live. But yes, that has just been, oh goodness. And it don't take a lot and it just hits. Girl, yes, that's it. Anyway, I gotta go because I gotta go to Costco and I think I've done enough of running my mouth. If you guys have any questions or you can tell the difference in quality, let me know. Anyway, I gotta go, but I love you guys and I will see you guys next time.